I'm Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. Welcome to this edition of your freight sales success training. After watching and applying it, you'll move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly and make more money financially. And if you have any questions, call me Ted Keyes at 626-309-9141. Today's topic comes from the front lines of my 30 plus years of business, sales, and freight moving success. Now enjoy watching, learning, and applying. Hello and welcome everybody to my Tuesday conference call. I'm Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. This is a free, high-powered meeting I hold live every Tuesday for top-producing new and struggling freight agents at 2 p.m. Pacific Time and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. On the call today, I will show you how to move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly so you make more money financially. And after the call, go to my website, tedkeysonline.com, to hear more of my podcasts, read more of my blog posts, watch more of my videos, and while you're there, visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products to truly explode your freight business today. When you arrive at my freight sales success store, you will see a host of products that are available. First one you'll see there is my freight sales success guide for beginner and struggling freight agents. I do, however, provide this for when you join our top producing freight sales office. Another product you'll see there is my Freight Sales Success Quotes. These quotes provide you with daily motivation to do what's important, to get on the phone and connect and build relationships with the marketplace. Third product you'll see there is my Freight Sales Success Training. This is a video course that'll take you literally from knowing little or nothing about freight to moving your first freight load and beyond. You'll also see there for sale again is my Freight Sales Success Skills. This product provides those intricate little skills that are required to, to handle different situations that you come in contact with. However, my freight sales success skills along with my other products are available today for purchase in my freight sales success store. And while you're there at my, uh, at my store taking in all this free information on any, on any page on my website you happen to be on, just over to the right, uh, go over to the right and enter your contact details. By doing that, you'll receive your email invite to this in every call. Not only that, you'll receive the attachments that I provide on each and every call. And also, just as a freebie for, getting, uh, for opting in, you'll receive my free report. Again, it's just a free report. 11 ways freight agents will increase their income. Go through this uh, as a beginning struggling freight agent. This report will assist you in increasing your income. And just so you know, that report there has been downloaded thousands of times before. And if you have any questions, any questions whatsoever about what I went over today, or more importantly, more specifically, are you ready for my top producing one-on-one -on -one personal freight sales freight broker training then give me Ted Keys a call I'm at 626-309-9141 today's training topic is which freight sales type are you which freight sales type are you so for those of you that are on my gmail contact list just go to any one of those invites that you receive today scroll down to the bottom and open up that first attachment there, not only that first attachment, but it'll be the only attachment there where I'm going to talk about which freight sales type are you. And 
Freight sales types, there's basically two. Now I'm gonna base, I, I'm gonna talk to you about, the, my topic is about the, the type based on your performance. I mean, you could, you, could, you could classify freight agents into oodles of different categories, but I'm just gonna talk about two, two types based on performance, based on performance. First is, and, and as I said, there's two main choices. There's two main choices. The first choice is those who get what they desire. The second choice is everybody else. Those who get what they desire and everybody else. So again, for those of you that are on my Gmail contact list, just scroll down to the bottom and we're gonna go over that one attachment. Which freight sales type are you? Let's talk about that first, uh, that first type. And the reason why I go based on performance is because that's what's going to get you to the top in this profession, all right? Your performance, regardless of what it is, if you do nothing, you're going to get nothing. If you do a tremendous amount of work and effort, you're going to receive a tremendous amount of reward. But in just talking about that first group, there are those who get what they desire and basically those who get what they work for. Typically, those are individuals that follow my recipe for success. Again, my recipe for success, this document and so many other documents that I talk about are in my freight sales success guide. If you want it, just go to uh, my website, tedkeysonline.com, click on the freight sales success store link and go ahead and purchase my freight sales success guide. However, those that get what they desire and what they want typically follow my recipe for success. Now, what is my recipe for success? My recipe for success is based on this. And when I give you these numbers, these are minimum numbers. These are minimum numbers, okay? My, my, my recipe for success is based on getting three new emails and phone numbers a day. Now, that, again, is the minimum requirement that I have. If you just want to slug along like a snail, then just get three emails and three contacts a day. But if you really want to get what you desire and require and, and you get what, uh, be, uh, based on your performance, get five contacts a day, get 10 contacts a day, get 15 contacts a day. And do you know who you're basically contacting when you first start off in this profession? No, you don't because we all want the juicy customers. We all want those, those customers that, that just give us their load. We give them a price. We find trucks, we pick up their loads. Starting off is not like that. That's why, that's why you have to get a number, a, a large number of contacts per day. But if you just wanna slug along, then just get three contacts a day. Now, if you're getting three contacts a day, what does that, uh, what does that tally out to over the week? It tallies out, to 15 contacts a week, all right? So three a day, and again, that is not what you have to do. If you really want to become successful, like I did when I first got into this, I was getting 10, between 10 and 20 contacts a day starting off. And did I necessarily know what I was doing when I did that? No, I didn't, because I didn't get the training that you're getting on my call today. But either way, get pick up the phone, pick up the phone and Talk to your prospects in a way where you're putting the attention on them, you're not making it about you, and the more you do that, you will obtain their name and their contact information. Now, what do you do with it after that? You've got to follow up with those individuals, and the best way to follow up is through a phone call. Now, when you're on my team, all right, or when you're going through my training, every Monday I send you an email. It's a sample email of what you can provide or what you can send out to your contact list. But the best way to follow up with any prospect or any customer is utilizing the telephone. The telephone trumps an email by far. And again, we're talking about those agents that get what they desire, okay? When you're getting what you desire, it's because you are making a tremendous amount of contact with the marketplace. So you get three a day at minimum, you get 15 a week at minimum. You, what are you going to do? You're gonna add those to your contact list and then you're going to communicate with your list. Just like I, what I talked about earlier, you're gonna follow up and actually communicate with your list. Again, if you wanna do this at a snail's pace, 
then go ahead and send an email out to everyone that you came in contact with. But if you really want to move forward quickly, minimum, okay, this is a minimum guideline. Make a phone call to every single person on your contact list. And again, when you call them, okay, you're not gonna say, I'm checking in. You're not gonna say, how is it going? You're gonna act as if you've spoken to them before. You're gonna call up and say, hey, what challenging freight do you have moving this week? What difficult freight do you have moving? If you just say, hey, hi, how you doing? I called you last week. Are you moving anything this week? Your odds of getting anything are zip, they're zilch. But when you call up and ask for those challenging and those difficult lanes, they're gonna say, hey, this is a guy, this is a gal that I want to deal with because they want my, they're, they're actually asking for my challenging and my difficult lanes. But either way, you're gonna pick up the phone and you're gonna ask them, hey, what challenging freight do you have moving this week? What difficult freight do you have move, moving this week? They may say, who are you? And you're gonna, you're gonna come back with, I called you last week. I called you two weeks ago. I'm Ted Keyes, I'm with Logistic Dynamics. You know, you say whatever you have to say, but only if they ask. But basically, as I said earlier, make it sound like you've had a connection or, or that you have a relationship with your prospect and your customers already. So make that phone call. Pick up the phone, make that phone call if you truly want to move forward at a fast rate. So just in review, minimum three contacts a day, which uh, which tallies to 15 a week. Everyone that you spoke to, you're going to call them a minimum of once a week. You're gonna communicate with them, all right? Yeah, you, you can send out an email, that's fine. But at the minimum, send an email and make a phone call. If you think that you're just gonna, if, if you feel that you're gonna call somebody for the first time and just email them and keep emailing them, thinking that that's going to build a relationship with them, it's not going to work. You, you are gonna move at a snail space. Now, here's an example. You've got this prospect or, or, or prospect that you've turned into a customer and all they want is the cheapest rate that the, market w that the marketplace will provide. Those, and, and they say, hey, yeah, I'll put you on my list. And, and you know, they start sending you their loads and you find out quickly, hey, this guy is just looking for the cheapest rate. You can continue to work with them. Hey, that's fine. But don't feel obligated to keep calling them on a weekly basis because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for the cheapest rate that's out there, all right? It's, it, it's truly the, the, the prospects that you have to actually, you know, you call them, all right, and they don't do anything. You call them again and they don't do anything. You keep calling them. Again, it goes back to that, that freight sales uh, statistic that I continually provide and share with everybody, and that is 80% of your sales are going to come between your fifth and your 12th contact. 80% of your sales will come between your fifth and your 12th contact. It's those customers, those prospects that will give you loads that pay far more than somebody that just throws you on your freight list and all you're going to do is provide them with the cheapest rate. Or, you know, they may, they may, they may uh, provide you with the rate. You know, it's some lumber load. You know, it's 48,000 pounds. It's 600 loaded miles and it pays 750. That is an indication of a low paying uh, customer. So just in review, for those that truly, that truly uh, get what they desire, those types of freight agents that truly get what they desire, they're gonna make a minimum, they're gonna gather a minimum of three new contacts a day, which, which, uh, which comes to 15 new contacts a week, and you're going to communicate with that list. And you're not just gonna do it once, you're not just gonna do it twice or three times, which is what most individuals do. They, they, they call a prospect for the first time, they follow up with them once, maybe twice, third time at the least, and then they drop them saying, hey, this guy doesn't wanna work with me, and not only that, but this doesn't work, I quit, I quit. So, 
that first category of individual is those that get what they desire. That's the first type of freight agent. Now, are you in that category, all right? If you're not, do you want to be in that category? Because to me, when you base, when you base uh, everything that you do on performance, the only other category that's left is everybody else. Now, let me first say this. Those that get what they desire make up about 20% of the freight sales agents and freight broker agents, freight forwarders, importers, exporters that are out there in the marketplace. They make up, they make up about 20% uh, 20 percent of the marketplace everybody else everybody else makes up 80 percent of the marketplace and everybody everybody else is pretty much those individuals that are not serious about this that they make a couple phone calls you know they 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 whine they complain they don't do anything that's everybody else and my question to you again is are you in that category? Which one are you in? Are you in uh, the one that they get what they desire or everybody else? Because here's the category of everybody else. This is what everybody else does. Basically, this uh, everybody else fits into my recipe for failure. Again, you'll find this in my freight sales success guide available in my freight sales success store at my website, tedkeysonline.com. This is your recipe for failure. And what do you do or what do you don't do when you, when you uh, uh, take in or, or make the recipe for failure? Well, well, basically, you don't obtain new emails. You know, you don't obtain those minimum three new emails daily. You don't bring in new customers on a regular basis, okay? You don't build your contact list. So if you're like everybody else, and this is what everybody else does. They don't obtain new contacts daily. They don't bring in new customers regularly. They don't build their contact list. What's the end result of that? What do you suppose it's gonna be? Well, here's what it's going to be, okay? You're gonna coast to rest on your laurels, all right? That's, that's an end result of doing all this. You're gonna only service the, you know, the, the current customers that you have, because why? You're not going out adding customers to your list. You, don't be, you actually believe that those customers that you have are going to remain loyal, and I can guarantee you this, they will leave you eventually, okay? They will leave you eventually. You don't call your remaining contact list. I mean, basically, you're just rest on your laurels. You think, hey, I'll just service who I have, you know, this, these three main customers. Oh, yeah, these guys will remain, remain loyal to me. You, you don't even send out, uh, you know, that weekly email that I get you as a member of our team or if you're going through my training program, okay? What happens when you do that? when you fall into this everybody else category, that is, you have fewer no loads moving, you got no, bro no growth, you got unpaid bills, it's that simple. That's what happens when you follow my recipe for success. So really, ask yourself, for those of you that are just beginning, or you've been in this a while, okay? You've been in it for six months, you've been in it for a year, ask yourself, which which freight sales type am I? Which, which, one do, which one would I fit into if I really thought about it? Are you in the, 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 the category that gets what they desire? Are you hitting your goals? Are you making, okay, are, are you multiplying your income? Are you getting more time, more money, more freedom to do the things that you wanna do? Are you in that first category, okay? Because when you join my training, I show you how to obtain that. Or are you like everybody else? You know, are, are you just squandering time away? Okay, are you whining and complaining because nobody's calling you back? You have to think about it. Again, it's up to you. So which, frails, which freight sales type are you? Which freight sales type are you? Are you those that get what they desire and truly live, okay, live? you know, from the comfort of your home, or are you like everybody else that struggles, you don't put forth effort, you whine and complain, and you eventually quit. Great topic for today. Again, think about it. Which one are you? What do you desire to be? Which freight sales type are you? In concluding my call, 
Do you, have, do you have any questions about what I just went over today? Any questions, regardless of what it is, or more importantly, more specifically, are you ready for my top producing one-on-one -on -one personal freight sales freight broker training? Yes? Give me a call, Ted Keys. I'm at 626-309-9141.